Hello and welcome to the tutorial on subtraction. In this tutorial we will learn how to subtract a three digit number and ones. And what we mean by ones is a one digit number. And we're going to do this using the vertical format. So let's begin with our first example. We're going to start with a nice easy one. What is 349 minus 7? 349 minus 7. Now I like to label the columns because it's easier to explain. We have the units, tens and hundreds. Okay, we are ready to go ahead and do the subtraction. And as always, we start on the right-hand side first. So let's do the workings below to show what we are doing. So the units we have is 9 minus 7. What is 9 minus 7? The answer is 2. So we can write that down. Now as for the next column, the tens, it's 4 minus, well there's nothing there. 4 minus 0 is 4. The hundreds column, we've got 3 minus 0, the answer is 3. And we have our answer. 349 minus 7 equals 342. Now that was a nice easy one. Now let's look at one which is a little bit tricky. This time we've got 600 and 54 minus 8. 654 minus 8. Now again, let's label the columns. We've got units, tens, and hundreds. And we are now ready to go ahead and do the subtraction. Check the sign. And we start with the column on the right-hand side first. So let's show our workings. The units, we've got 4 minus 8. 4 minus 8. <clears throat> now because 4 is less than 8, we cannot do this. So what we're going to have to do is, we're going to take 1 from the, from the digit on its left. In this case, the 5. I'm just going to point it out, there's a 5 over there. So what we're going to do is, cross out the 5, and watch how we do this. Cross out the 5. We're going to take 1, so 5 minus 1 is 4, and the 1 we have taken from there, we're going to move to the units column. Okay, so the units has now become 14 minus 8. It's no longer 4 minus 8, it's now 14 minus 8. Now what is 14 minus 8? You know this from your mental arithmetic, 14 minus 8 is 6. So we can write that down, it is 6. Now we're going to do the tens. Now how many tens are there? Well, there are 4. It's not 5, we crossed out the 5, and it is now 4. So 4 minus, well, it's 0 there, 4 minus 0 is 4. The hundreds column, we've got 6. 6 minus 0 is 6. And that is our answer. 646. So that one was a little bit tricky, but we work through it, and we always have to follow the same principles. Okay, we're now going to look at one which is even more trickier. Let's go through this. This time we've got 801 minus 6. Now it's very important that you learn the concepts. Okay, 801 minus 6. Let's label the columns. We've got units, tens, and hundreds. We are now ready to go ahead and do the subtraction. As always, we start on the right-hand side first. Now let's show our workings at the bottom as we've done throughout. Units, we've got 1 minus 6. 1 minus 6. Now 1 is less than 6, therefore we cannot do this. So what we have to do is, we have to take 1 from the tens to the left. But hold on. 
the tens is zero. So we can't take one from there. What we're going to have to do is to take one from the hundreds. I'll just change colors for this. Take one from the hundreds, move it to the tens, and then we're going to take one from the tens and move it to the units. Okay, and we have to do this because in the units column, the one is less than six. Okay, so let's see how we do this. I'm just going to change colors for this. Okay, we've got 801. Now have a look at the hundreds over here. We've got eight. We're going to cross out the eight. Watch how we do this. Cross out the eight. Eight minus one is seven. Now the one we have taken from there, we're going to move to the tens column. So the tens column is now 10. It's not zero anymore, it is 10. Now the second part of this is, we're going to, I'm just changing colors for this. We're going to cross out the 10 in tens and take one across. So watch how we do this. We've got the 10, we're going to cross out the 10. 10 minus one is nine. And the one we have taken from there, we're going to move across. Okay, so it's a two-step process. Now, what do the units look like now? It's no longer 1, it is 11. 11 minus 6. So what is 11 minus 6? Now, you know this from your mental arithmetic. 11 minus 6 is 5. So we can write this down. Next is the tens column. We've got 9. We don't have 0. We don't have 10. Remember, we crossed out the 10. We've got 9. 9 minus 0 is 9. And the hundreds column, we've got 7. We don't have 8. Remember, we crossed out the 8 and made it a 7. So we've got 7 minus 0. 7 minus 0 is 7. So therefore, 801 minus 6 equals 795. Okay, just make sure you understand the principles of taking one from the digit to the left. Okay, so that is the subtraction of a three-digit number and a one-digit number, ones, using the vertical format.